Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is Chris. Hi, I wanted to know what you felt about uh, Time Capsule. Oh, the new product from Apple. It's, uh, yeah. uh, and just to, if ever, everybody knows what a Time Capsule is, right? It's essentially the Apple Airport Extreme in combination with a hard drive inside. The idea is that you could use your Time Machine software in Mac OS X Leopard to automatically back up uh, OS X. I don't know if you could use the hard drive or anything else, but uh, bottom line is that uh, I've got mine on order. I have got an Apple Airport Extreme. That is my wireless network. It runs excellent. I had a, uh, a Linksys wireless router before then, and that worked okay, even as far away from the uh, access point as I am right now. When I upgraded to the Airport Extreme, I got a better signal where I'm located. I got five bars on my Mac compared to three or four uh, from the Linksys broadcaster. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, I think it's a good idea. I think it's an excellent idea. I've also got a, a, a NAS drive, network attached storage, so that's what I use as a, a kind of a hard drive in the cloud on my home network, uh, backing up files to it or copying files to it, and that runs just fine. But uh, you know, I think it's a great idea. I, it's it's long overdue because instead of having a, a router and a wireless access point and a hard drive, it's basically all in one. And, uh, you know, the price isn't, I, I wouldn't say excellent. I ended up paying about $450 for the terabyte time capsule. And that was, you know, I thought it was pretty fair for everything that you get. So I'm likely going to either be donating my wireless, uh, uh, my current airport extreme to a local school, possibly selling it online, possibly giving it away, I'm not sure. But uh, in theory, I think it's a, an excellent idea, long overdue. But it just, they yeah. haven't shipped yet. They, they'll ship in a, in a couple more weeks. You'll find out. I'll do a live unboxing for you. Okay, that would be good. Because well, right now I have an external hard drive with a MacBook. Yep. I never really find myself hooking them up. Yeah, I know. Kind See, of like not using Time Machine very much. So. I, I'm the same way. In fact, um, the last time I did a Time Machine backup on this particular drive, I've got one. Do I even have it plugged in? No, I don't. Last time I did a, a backup on this one was when I first installed <laughs> Leopard um, just to copy the applications over there, and that's my time machine drive. It's just I haven't gone through and, and connected the rest of it uh, just because yep. I just haven't. So having it in the cloud in my local home area network thing, um, it, it, may, it will make it a lot more convenient. That's why I have a NAS drive, but it's formatted to be uh, compatible with both Windows or with Windows, Linux, Mac, etc. So the Time Machine drive needs to be HFS Plus formatted specifically for, well, journaling in relation to uh, OS X and its file system. That's how it, its relation works with uh, Time Machine software. Okay, thank you. That's a good yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to order one, too. It sounds better than just the regular. It's worth a shot. I, You know, and it's sad. Uh, I've been trying to communicate with Apple for a while because they've got a, an affiliate program with Commission Junction, and I, I was supposed to sign... I, I've been trying to sign up as an Apple Store affiliate, so when people buy Macs or Time Capsules based on my recommendation, I can actually get credit for that sale. As it stands, I'm not going to get credit for that sale. Yeah, I heard the other videos where people actually buy Macs just because you're using one. So yeah, it's... It definitely work something out with them. Well, Apple doesn't care about me. And to tell you the truth, they probably don't care about you either. Um, that's probably true. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, thank you. All right, bye. Bye.